Common Anger Wolves are just gonna force fights yeah. over and over and over from the 15 minute mark and forward. And right. that's a Cassio oh, here. Hot. Okie dokie. Not only that, I, I feel like the lane matchup against a Corky is one that I, I'm not a big fan of. We saw this similar pathing out from Koo in game one. Also against the Nautilus, yeah, yeah, it yeah. It's the same play same again. Play. Oh, this time, I think it was... Uh, it was just blocked. Something missed weird time. happened there, yeah. He didn't actually Maybe. get knocked back. I think Rudy didn't have momentum anymore coming in from his E, so he just flashed on top of him and nothing happened. Okay. This doesn't work out. I'll become a horse commentator. <laughs> a horse commentator? I think you're horse Not even the racing bit. I'll just think just of a horse look at and be a commentator. <laughs> I'll get one of those horse masks and then just, yeah, that'll be me. Horse, that gank can mid again. They are, but there's no kick to fish here, so I think Godbro is probably okay. Maybe I not. That's a first wrong. bomb. I am incorrect. Go back first to the horses. Oh, Koo, he's taking down from the poison, but it was only my asthma. It wasn't from the noxious blast, so he's good. Your what? It's okay. There was no horses there, but there's a cow getting caught out. Now, the cow, not so good at racing. Uh, he will get a triple man knock up and he'll flash away. Rudy is at a body block. And he has a big body to block, so uh, he's going to be getting the cow out. I really heard something different. I'm yes. 100% <laughs> 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 sure. <laughs> Anyhow, Godbro is uh, he's back yeah, made cool. here, I know, back right? I'm, well. well, that's my analysis. Rudy's Oh, out. He's out. It does mean Wolves might be able to dive bot side. TP in the wicked as well. He's pretty low though. And Holy he's Phoenix. Kick him against the wall. That's the Q. That oh. should be a dead Holy Phoenix. Nope, he's out. He's got the flash. He's got the E. But now there's five people wanting Holy Phoenix. And Cass is going to go down first. But now all the walls are chasing after him. Swiggity Swooty coming for <laughs> Holy Phoenix. All oh, dredge line doesn't land. Someone's going to kill him. The tower. the tower. Bop. Oh, Gun. you know. Takes it. Five man bot lane party. Uh, this is so weird. It's like he's he defend Now he's TPing. Okay. Okay. Now Wicked back. This is away. really weird. This is. It's like Kuma got invited to a party and then there was no one there, but they made their own party. Mid lane. Coup. Does that happen off tower shot. Shot. Yeah, unfortunately it does. Forever alone. Uh, I'm not going to invite you to my party. What? <laughs> wow. Uh, so that is one. You know, normally good thing for Wolves, they don't have that available to. Nukes a lot, it's taken a lot of damage, Miasma and the follow-up. But meanwhile, mid lane, Godbro is dropping low. One more auto attack will finish him up, but Rudy managed to get the better of Braum in that one and take him down. A lot of damage, and now with the Frozen Domain. Oh, so gonna be the hook landing onto Whirlup, but because he hasn't actually hit Wicked yet. Okay, now he's got oh, Tower Throw. That was the yeah. ultimate being used. Whirlup still uh, taking a little damage. Riptide did a lot there. Meanwhile, Ku's gotten caught out by Rudy. He's gonna pop the ultimate, keeping with the stun lock coming in from the E and the old combo. Now, oh, Ku will back away. Nukes a lot was there to support him. Bot lane, Whirlup did, uh, did get alive. I believe he popped Substigate, but uh, now in his trade, he won't have it anymore. And because the W is still on Wicked, he's doing a lot of damage in return. Frozen Domain will get a bit of distance for Whirlup. It's going to be the flash after the response fight. with another flash from Whirlup. Wicked is really just him landing the, the, uh, <laughs> the dredge line, which will be quite a while. In oh. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It. Doesn't land. The barrel roll. Rudy flashed for that one. He was out of there. Uh, yeah. Yes. He yeah. Did. He tried to flash body slam into him. Yeah, it's because he knew Kuz was still down from uh, being in did the jungle fight earlier. Just yeah. Before, yeah. But huh? Get today. Godbro oh. might get caught out here. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna look for that ultimate, but Koo hits him with the ultimate beforehand. Oh. That's a two-man ultimate, and actually, Cass comes in with a knockup onto Kajal. The Gatling gun wasn't enough to finish off Cassiopeia, and now with the rest of the team coming in, this might be enough. Huma will lose Rudy. Cass has already gone into Unbreakable Will, but they broke his will, and he's dead. And Holy Things is over the wall, putting still out some there. damage. Godbro, he he's didn't there. go back to base, and he's gonna oh, he die. Could. Minions like, are gonna kill him. I guess he could maybe run all the way down, but he was so low, and... I don't know, again, this Cassiopeia pick, there's just nowhere on the map for it to be because if she sits at a tower, she gets tower dived and killed. Yeah. If she walks into an enemy jungle, she gets caught up by, you know, extra anything. mobility from Lee Sin, from anything almost. Like, even the red buff could probably kill her at this point. <laughs> so... Well, the minions just killed her there, so... Right, yeah. I mean... Conclusive. You saw it. Case closed. <laughs> Analysis right yeah. there. It feels like Huma maybe is trying to invent their own meta a little bit instead of trying to follow. <laughs> Uh, Ku jumps into the pit, he's trying he's to get dead. the steal, but okay. uh, he's, uh, he's going six feet under. Oh, he gets the right one! From, uh, oh, you saw him. Well, it's a one and three, it's like the ball is constantly moving though, that's the problem. He's being tricked. 
Um, there was a oh, sneak chase here. Yeah, he's gonna get punished. I mean, I think Ku has just gone full right, solo right. queue. Here. We, we're going full solo queue now. Yep, from Ku. First, trying to steal their dragon, which I think is completely unnecessary in this way. Then Dardoch didn't jump into uh, dragon. He didn't do that. That's then the difference for now. Good ulti from uh, Nukes a lot, but it's still 4v5. Well, up, up. Lands the pillar. Oh, force a flash. Okay. I see the I see the flash. Yeah, he's gonna that's the value. You know what the next one is? He's gonna buy a dark seal just to yeah. assist that even more. Oh, fight mid lane. Cassid. Oh, he got nukes a lot. Nukes a lot jumps into the team. Will be popping the ultimate now and locks everyone down. Copenhagen Wolves are losing members left and right. Ku is gonna be sacrificed so that Sivir may live and will die for his sins. Three for one. Three for zero actually. And Huma get away with that team fight. He just needs to try and get inside the Baron pit. But man, this barrel will just go down to Huma. Rather than utilizing the numbers advantage to maybe start a fight for the Wolves, which is what that comp we looked at really wants to do right now. Oh, TP's coming out though. No home guard to set this up, but it's only three people mid. Well, Rudy is already under attack from the Copenhagen Wolves. Cass comes in with a nice double knockup onto Kajor and Ku. Wurlips now coming in to reinforce the front lines. Holy Pingus is getting a lot of damage down. Panoi tries to punish him onto the left side flank of this team fight. Ku connects the Q, but I don't think he really wants to go in. Wicked pops down the Riptide. We'll have to flash away as the pillar comes up from Cass. From, uh, from Whirlup, rather. And then just have the numbers for the rest of the game. But he also just like walks into the enemy team and dies sometimes. Um, this time he's going to try and make a play using the ultimate. Or we'll jump onto Rudy. Package has been delivered. Gragas doesn't really want it. He's going to be kicked into the team. Rudy is dead. Teleport was started by Whirlup, but he actually decides to cancel. And now he'll just kind of walk. Oh, they got Phoenix. 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 He gets CC'd up. There's a depth charge. Can they actually capitalize on this, though? That was a fast heal coming out from Holy Phoenix himself. And Rudy's kind of alone here. Sivir popped ulti Again. as well. Second time in as many minutes. It keeps happening. You have to burn the flash there. They just want to force TPs from each other. This is coming in now. TP. Okay, Cass coming in for the engage, looking for that knockup to happen. There comes the ultimate. Godbro is on the backside. Ku gets a good kick into the they team. Got they take down Cassiopeia. Ku jumps into holding things. He'll quickly take him out. Kajol's putting down the damage onto Whirlib and Rudy. Pinoy can't quite get in range, but that was a great pillar out from Whirlib. A lot of the mid laners in Europe, like yeah, Corky's late game is insane because he does so much yeah. magic damage. Yeah. He used to be a mid game focus champ, he's still. Really strong late game now. Oh no, the flash and the Q, it just connected onto terrain. It's a TP coming out from God, bro. This time it's just again to force a fight here. Uh, well, this this is actually the uh, the opposite. Normally we've been seeing people start the Baron. Yeah, I mean, they learned the from last time, right? It's just like, okay, this time we turn, but they do it preemptively. And now they're going onto the Baron, but they need to find the oh, right we time can to do it. Hook. Again, Dredge Line doesn't land. Godbro, I don't think that ultimate hit anyone, really. It just hit a tank. And Holy Phoenix is down to us. Godbro, both of the DPSs are out of the fight. Now only tanks remain out from Huma. Kajal was traded, but it doesn't matter. Copenhagen Wolves will happily take this Baron. Baron really hates Huma. And also, they clearly hate making calls around it. Yeah. It's like so many of these things were available for the Wolves to kind of just stand there and take it. When it comes to the early to mid game, with, in terms of pushing, with Nautilus pushing, Corky pushing, Sivir pushing, I think this is the kind of composition we will see a lot more of in this meta with Sivir now in it. And just so much pushing power and strong mid game fights. And then because you have the scaling of these oh, carries, and Ku is trying uh, to go ham. Ku Why? just went into the base. I believe he kicked Godbro into his team, but when he's the only one in base, that doesn't really help. Wicked is trying to get out of here. Lance is trying to get into the tower. Rain. Meanwhile, bot lane is being pushed in by Panoi. That will be the tower going down. Can he get a collapse to happen? No, they'll just back away and disengage. The Wolves had it incredibly low. Look, it's, it's half health. Ku goes in. Okay, okay nice so he does but... get Godbro, but he lands in four people. Like, look at the damage that's being done on the turret here. Huma couldn't really have stepped forward if Ku was back with Kadrill and Wicked at that point. But it's <laughs> funny, right? Because you look at Huma and these old guys who have been on yeah, the LCS that's... stage before oh, and will the go fight. for another engage. They will pull the trigger. Whoa. That is something that Huma have not been afraid to do in this series. And Wicked has managed to find Godbro. He'll go into Zonia's. Everyone is still alive, but I believe Cass will be going down here. In fact, Godbro will be the one to fall. Wicked's trying to get onto Rudy now. He's very tanky. And maybe they're starting to win out here as Holy Things is getting the damage down onto these big tanks. Panoi is the only person remaining has to triple kill looking for that quad but word will come in with a shutdown as a five for two might be long enough 20 seconds on nukes a lot 20 seconds on oh, the minutes Coup. now the rest of the team however are not available so this is a i think you might be here. able to buy yeah. time with who take bot time so. maybe if you are humor at this Big point stack. 
or just yeah, back okay. away. Or just play Set safe. Yeah. One thing we need to look at after the game, though, is how much damage did Gabro even deal to champions? Because it's probably going to be extremely low. That fight build about 2,000. Just put the Cassiopeia on the stick, oh, wave it in front of Copenhagen walls, have them jump on Gabro, he goes into the slow. And Huma should be able to pick up a, uh, a kill. This is like reverse Huma now, as Copenhagen Wolves are trying to take the Baron. But it's dropping low. Rudy comes with the engage. The spell shields are out by Pinoy. He doesn't have that down for another, another couple seconds. Huma are backing away. The front line's still very tanky. Wicked is the only still one on Baron. Do it. He's taken so much damage from this. He pops Titan Trap again. Don't He's stand taking so much stand behind him. It takes even more damage. And Baron is going to town on Wicked currently. Now Copenhagen Wolves still going onto that Baron. Oh Rudy looking for a potential God. steal. He's over the wall. World of is taking a lot of damage from Kate. Well, Pinoy. That's going to be the flash. The knock Who's up. Dead? Pinoy's knocked into the back line. Baron is still alive. He's putting the damage now onto Huma. But Nuxalon is dropping low. Another body slam lands onto the support. That'll be a double kill out for Holy Phoenix. Wicked gets destroyed as he That's tries it. to escape from no the fight. No team is allowed Kajol to go Baron is anymore. is still alive. That's that teleport down mid lane. Kajol, his recall has been stopped. That'll be the ace coming out for World of. And now Godbro pushing down the middle lane. And we now have a series on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, as Huma come in and take down these Nexus turrets and we'll be securing this third game in this best of five in the Challenger Finals here in the Spring Split. Huma, bring it to game four.